morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.41, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 654, Tuesday morning's pre-open. Uh, Asia and Europe are both lower, and we have a lot of stocks with news today. Uh, we have Michaels, which uh, looks to be going private for the second or third time. Uh, the symbol's M-I-K, and the stock is already up from 7 to 17, so I'm um, not really sure uh, how much more we're going to see out of that. Uh, oil is slightly lower, and I'll get to that <clears throat> in a minute and show you the chart, but uh, it basically is down on expectations that OPEC is cheating and that the higher prices will bring outright sales. Uh, Novavax had a miss, but they are talking about uh, having a vaccine by May. Uh, the stock was as high as 254 and uh, closed 226. So uh, 28 off the high and down $5 and change or 2%. <clears throat> in late trading. Zoom, on the other hand, went the other way. Uh, it had a major beat, 369% uh, growth in revenues. On Friday, the stock traded 356. Yesterday, in late trading, it traded 458, so a solid 30% higher. Uh, and after closing around 443 last night in extended hours, it's currently trading 438.10, which is down 560. Uh, Square is uh, going into the banking business. No surprise there. Volvo announced for about the fourth time that they will be all electric by 2030. I don't know why they keep on putting out the same news, but... It is what it is, uh, I guess, repetition. Uh, NEO had a bigger loss than expected. It had closed 49.76, currently 47.18, down $2.59. Uh, the Nike COO is leaving, something uh, in relation to his son's resale business. So I'm um, guessing his son is getting preferential treatment on... Uh, excess inventory or seconds or whatever. Uh, Target beat both top and bottom line, but the stock is actually down $1.68 or nine-tenths of a percent at uh, 184.41. Um, AutoZone also beat, but is a little bit higher. Really not much. Three-tenths of 1%, 1173, up 361. <clears throat> uh, Dow is up on a recommendation from Wells Fargo, 6185, up 31 cents, so nothing special there. And NNVC, nanovirus, uh, the stock had a close yesterday of 422 and has traded today as high as 916. Uh, last is uh, 394, uh, pardon me, 813, up 394 or 92% on uh, the fact that they think that their uh, COVID virus uh, drug will help with variants, its uh, use with remdesivir. Okay, I have to say I'm embarrassed to be from a state that sent Elizabeth Warren and keeps her in the Senate. She is again raving about her two cent solution. It is not two cents and uh, it is two percent and it doesn't matter what uh, happens with it. Uh, if you pay it this year and next year, uh, it your uh, wealth goes down, you don't get a write-off. You just don't pay the additional two cents. Uh, she rails about how we do uh, real estate uh, reappraisals every year, which is false, even here in Massachusetts, where she's a senator and lives, we do it every three years. So uh, there's, and there's an abatement mechanism set up. So uh, I 
basically feel like I'm embarrassed because she's a liar and my state just continues to send her back. All right, everyone. Um, the chart on the screen is uh, net gas, which I think is um, about to move higher again. Uh, we had this sell off from a high of $3.31 uh, all the way down almost to the lower Bollinger Band, which I added here. Um, it, it has actually moved to the Bollinger Band, but more often than not, it turns down after approaching a Bollinger Band, as it did here. So we went through it on the upside, we rode it here, um, and then when we uh, closed through it, we started down. I consider this to be uh, pretty oversold, and I think that we're going to get a move back to $3. I think that Nat Gas is a kind of moment in time uh, commodity because uh, it is not only used for heat during the winter, but it is also used to generate electrical power when the grids need it, uh, as opposed to burning coal or uh, anything else that would be harmful um, to the atmosphere. I'm going to get rid of that Bollinger Band, and let's take a look at a couple of others. As I said, uh, the oil was lower. It is still it's moved back from uh, 59.45 to trade at 60.72. So that was an extension of the move down from the last couple of days. And it seems to have found some support. And lo and behold, that support happens to be on the 20-day moving average. So uh, there is support in this area. We'll see if it holds, if it breaks that it probably moves back down to 58 and a half or so, possibly even into this area. Uh, same thing, 58 and a half, 58. Uh, rest of those markets, uh, gold this morning is uh, up 260 after being down and trading almost to 1700, which was my initial uh, expectation. Uh, got down to uh, 1704 overnight tonight and has since rallied and uh, you know I think it has to close up on the day if it closes below yesterday's close at 1723 then I think 1675 to 1650 is actually in play uh, all of a sudden I guess uh, nobody thinks that there's any inflation okay uh, Bitcoin up 370 after yesterday's move. I'm still not so sure about that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, 91, 18 and a half. That's up about 15 cents on the dollar. Uh, the bonds have been all over the place. They are basically unchanged now. This morning they were up almost a full point and down about a quarter of a point. So this is towards the low end of the range. Kind of disappointing, but I still think that we are in a bottoming area here. And uh, I think that uh, rates are going to come back down. Uh, if we close again, like with the uh, gold, if we close below this low close at 158 and change, then I think that we will uh, see a much stronger move back down. This is the weekly. Uh, we have been near support uh, for a while. This area right here. I actually was hoping it would hold in this 159, 159 and a half range. All right, everyone, uh, have a good morning and uh, be careful out there. It's a tough market.